The purpose of this YouTube is to go through a simple example in Solver which answers this question. A farmer has 50 acres of land. First of all, let's identify constraints. So 50 acres of land is going to be a constraint. He plants each acre with cotton or corn, so he's got two crops. And we know that each acre planted with cotton has 400 profit and with corn is 200. And here are some resources. Resources available include 150 workers and 200 tons of fertilizer. Those, those are constraints. So for cotton, the labor is five. For corn, it's three, six, and two. So let's transfer this to um, an Excel sheet here. So we can see here right away that the inputs at the top are colored in blue. The inputs are colored in blue. And here we've got labor, five for cotton, labor for corn is three, fertilizer, six and two. And here is the profit. Remember, we were given in the question that profit per acre was 400 for cotton and 200 for corn. So you can see that the profit for cotton is twice that for corn. This is per acre. But the costs are higher as well. We include here a red line that's in line 9, which are the changing variables. So there's no um, formula or anything linked to them. These are just numbers. So I'm going to set this at 25 and this one at, I don't know, 10. It doesn't matter what it is. So these are the numbers that we tell Solver you can change in order to maximize. Now the profit per crop in line 12 is simply the acreage multiplied by in D6 for cotton so that will be 10,000. You can see if I change it to some other number, it's going to also change. The profit for corn is a similar thing. It's the acreage for corn times the profit. So that's 2,000. The total profit is just the sum of those two together, the profit by crop added together. And this is what we are trying to maximize, isn't it? It's the total profit. Now the constraints are below. The labor constraint, remember what the labor constraint was? It is the labor per acre, so that's in, in cell D3 was 5. For cotton it's going to be 5 times the acreage plus, for we also may have some folks walk it working on corn, 3 times the acreage given to corn. So for cotton, 5 times 15 plus 3 times 10 makes 105. The maximum permitted amount, F17, are given in the question. So the constraint is it's got to be smaller than this amount. Now the same with fertilizer. We know the fertilizer is 6 per acre, so we can have 6 times 15 plus 2 times 10. Total acreage is this two allocated. We've allocated uh, 15 and 10. Now let's change that. You can see that the cell is linked, so that will change to 20. It has to be smaller than 50 because the farmer only has 50 acres. So we've set up uh, the equation. Now what we're going to try and do is to change the acreage, the allocation of acreage between cotton and corn so that the profit per crop in the objective cell, the grey cell, E13, is maximized. So go to Data, then open Solver. And here is the Solver dialog box. So the objective is cell E13. That's what we want to maximize, the objective. We set it to max because we want it to be maximized. I'm just clear this because I set it up before. Now, 
The changing cells are these two, so we can just drag it across. It's a, it's a range, isn't it? It's from D9 to E9, D9 to E9, correct. Now the constraints, I'm going to um, delete all the constraints and start afresh. Okay, so let's add the first constraint. The first constraint is that the labor in this cell here has to be smaller than what is permitted. Notice, just check the sign is correct. So in other words, whatever is in E17 cannot exceed what is in F17. Go OK. We add one more, which is fertilizer cannot be larger or must be the same as or smaller than 200. Go OK. And then one final constraint is the acreage. The total acreage must be smaller than whatever is 50. It's here. Go OK. Now we've set up the constraints. Check it's simplex LP. That's what we want. That's what we want. Solve it. Press solve. And Solver has found a solution here. And Solver has adjusted it so that 30 for cotton and 0 for corn would be the most profitable outcome. So notice he's not using all of the total acreage that he could. He's using all the labor and he's not using all the fertilizer. So the only binding constraint is going to be labor, isn't it? He's using as much labor as he can. Let's, let's try a sensitivity report. Let's see what happens here. Go to sensitivity. Go OK. And then we will find um, a sensitivity report at the bottom. Now, here's the sensitivity report. You can see that here, this most important thing is the shadow price for fertilizer and acreage is zero because uh, it's not binding. The only one that is binding is the, sh is the labor constraint. So if he could get one more unit of labor, then he would get $80 more of profit. Don't forget to run a sensitivity analysis after doing the optimization. Thank you.